All right, hey everybody, this is Nitra. Um, I came on a couple minutes early just to make sure everything was working correctly. Um, I hope you guys can hear and see everything. So it's my work surface here. All right, hi, hi everybody. My name is Nitra Bates and I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, watercolor the backgrounds of your Prima Princess dividers. Hey Dana, or any um, dividers for that matter, but I'm particularly in love with the Princess, um, pr the Prima Princess dividers because um, they're just really beautifully drawn and anyone can watercolor these and they will still look amazing in your planners. So um, good afternoon, Kimberly. So um, here, is uh, one I did a little while, uh, about a week or two ago. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but um, yeah, she, she's really pretty. And um, these are on watercolor. So um, there's so many to choose from. But I really, um, I really like uh, to, color, to watercolor these. I'm a little nervous, so sorry. All right, so... <laughs> And then here's one here. I'm going to show you uh, how to do this type of a background because I know it takes me a really long time to color the faces and the hair. And I thought with the edgers, um, I can just dab color everywhere and have, you know, a pretty background. So I'm going to show you how easy that is uh, today. So I've already prepped um, a Prima Princess, and um, I just colored her face and a little bit of her uh, shawl here, and we're going to um, do the top and background. Okay, um, so I chose some edgers. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Prima. Um, so I've got some edgers here. Um, th these ones match my my planner, which I'll show you in a minute, my work planner um, that I'm using, so she's going to match that. But anyway, um, first thing, uh, you're going to need, um, um, what is this, acrylic block, um, some water. I like to use these, like, red solo cups, um, a paintbrush. Um, I, uh, you can use the water brushes, but I like to use a paintbrush because I can control how much water I'm going to need, especially... For concentrated areas. Now, if you don't care how much water you're using, if you wanted a real blendable, you know, color, then a water brush would be great for you. Um, okay, so I'm going to start on the hair because I do want the hair to have a little bit of naturalness to it. Um, kind of like in this girl, I colored about a good little bit of her hair before I went into uh, the different colors. Um, um, hair is not the easiest, so this will be great for anybody that has difficulty with hair. Um, so I'm going to use first the, um, what is this, a watercolor pencil. This is from the Earth Tone set. Okay, I hope I'm not screaming at you guys. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, so when you're doing this technique, um, if you want to blend in the hair, you want to just add a little bit of natural color first. And I'm just going to follow the lines that are already drawn there. I mean, just a little bit. Um, oh, thank you, Dana. I was hoping I wasn't screaming at you guys. Um, so, yeah, you just want to add a little bit of a natural color just sort of at the top. So it looks like she's got some ombre unicorn hair. And... Uh, you can use any color for hair. I've used blue, pink, purple, green, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so after I've added that, I'm going to take my brush. And hi, Norma. And then um, it's got a little bit of water on it, and I'm just going to 
blend it out a little bit. Um, hair is, like I said, it's the hardest for me, so it takes me a really long time to get it nice. But this way is foolproof. Like, you can... I had to come up with an easier way. Okay. So just follow the lines. Okay, and then I'm just going to stop about there. So while that dries, um, now I'm going to take my edgers, my chalk edgers, and we're going to color the top. Um, if you had the time, I would suggest coloring some of the detail like you would normally color. So um, to do that, I like to take my chalk edgers. And um, Hi, v uh, Vero. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to pounce it just a little bit on the quick block. Uh, this color is called Deep Blue, and it's a true deep blue. I love the color a lot. Um, and so I'm going to take a little bit of water on my brush. Probably need more than that. But um, And then I'm going to go in and, and probably add a little bit of actual color on some of the details, not all of the details, just some. And watercolor is very forgiving. It always looks really good no matter how you, um, no matter what your style is, it's going to look great. Um, Oh yeah, def definitely a nice soft finish. That that's a great way to to put that. I'm kind of stumbling my words. I'm still a little nervous, but yeah, with yeah, you you can't go wrong with them. They the colors are all, just blend really well and you don't really have to work at it, you know. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue. Um, and then I'm going to dab this is a deep red, and it's also a very true red. Um, I love tr like a true true reds because um, they're hard to find. Okay, because you know some reds have like you know orange to it. This is a a true red, so I like like this color. Again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail, and then we're gonna get into uh, the fun. Okay, so um, now I'm going to go in with um, Island Lagoon. It's a gorgeous color. And I'm going to take it. Um, first, I'm going to get my brush ready. Because you want to work while the chalk edger is still wet. Um, Okay, and then I'm just going to pounce directly onto um, wherever I want it. Like, just just throw it down there. It doesn't matter. And then we're, I'm going to spread it out. So you can see it's very concentrated where I put it, um, but then it, it blends softly out, and that's what what we want and then I'm going to add a little bit over here um, I don't don't worry about if you go out of lines because that's the beauty of it you want that oh I'm just watercoloring and it came out pretty look you don't yeah okay. hey Tiffany I'm glad you made it um, and then I'm going to add, this color is called Coral, and I've been using this quite a bit lately. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about going outside of the lines.
Okay, what else? Um, I'm going to use uh, Deep Red um, again. And then now that I, I hope this does match my, my planner spread because I was I used the Wild and Free collection. I'll show it to you guys as soon as I'm done because she's going to go right in there. And you can also um, add glitter around. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, yeah. This is a great way to um, just add nice color. Cause sometimes you might not have the time to really go in. On the details but other times it's it's very fun to sit and relax you know and just color all the little flowers and stuff I'm gonna use this deep blue I'm gonna pounce that a little bit thicker on in this corner oh yeah Norma you can anybody can do this you guys just go and grab your chalk edgers and just start <laughs> and just start pouncing them around and spreading your color because it just makes for a really pretty background effect. Okay. Um, and then if you want it to, you can go back and do some more concentrated color. Um, if you feel like you've got enough sporadic looking. Oh, that, that blue is a beautiful blue. Um, I've got my Prima con uh, Confections up here. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit. kind of concentrate in some of these little details. Okay. And um, my, um, let's see here. I'm just adding it here and there. Okay, so now we're going to move down to where we left some of the hair undone. And that's where it gets really like, oh my gosh, am I really going to do this to the hair? Yes, we're really going to do this to the hair. So um, I'm going to use a deep red first. Just going to pounce it here. And a little bit over here. This will spread it. Okay, and then this um, Island Lagoon. Again, this I'm in love with this color here. I'm going to go outside of the lines a little bit. Oh, the books. Yeah, you can totally do this in the books. The um, I have the Prima Princess uh, number two book. A little... It's very beautiful, the artwork on the planner supplies and the dividers and the books are all just beautiful. Hi, Nupar. How are you? So. Okay, so I didn't color her eyes, but um, I want to do the background. So I'm going to use um, uh, this color. I'm just going to push it right down in there. And then I'm going to mix it um, with a little bit of the deep blue. I just want... Different color. Sorry, I moved my camera. Oh, 
You're welcome, Dana. Oh, you guys are so nice. I love the planner community. Okay. I'm just spreading it out. And yep, I'm turning her upside down. You guys, sometimes you have to turn them sideways and slanted. <gasps> Gonna add a little red over here. It's just an explosion of color. Um, okay. Trying to make sure my phone doesn't fall. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to color her eyes. And I didn't color her eyes first because I wanted to use one of the edger colors. So I'm going to um, use a skinnier brush. Um, I guess she can have these deep blue eyes because I'm obsessing with the color right now. Okay, so I have to concentrate a little harder. Okay, and then we're going to do a little makeup on her eyes. Um, just gonna go for coral, the um, coral chalk edger. Um, although I used the Prima Confections on the bot for her skin, as you can see, this color, it's not, um, it's staying put. It's not like mixing with what's under it. And I really like that. So um, I'm going to use a little bit of the red on the outside of her, her eyes. Oh, and I forgot about her big flower too. Number of mint color. Oh goodness. The um, Island Lagoon. So you want the Island Lagoon um, number? Hold on, I don't, um, maybe, Carrie, are you, can you, I don't know the, um, the, the number to Island Lagoon Chalk Edger. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm just adding a little bit of details on her brooch because I think it's really beautifully drawn and I want to really um, make sure it, it stands out. Okay, so um, for the face, it usually takes me anywhere about an um, 30 to 40 minutes um, to color the face. Sometimes they come out okay, and then other times they're a little splotchy. Um, I'm going to add a little glitter on her earrings. Or, you know what? I'm going to use the deep blue color because I'm obsessed now. Let's see if I can stay inside the lines. Oh, 
Oh, I love it. So cute. Again, just have fun, you guys. It's so fun. Just got some pearls. Okay. And you can still add glitter. And, um, oh, I took out some flowers. I'm going to add a few tiny little flowers. I keep moving my phone. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, these are the Prima flowers. You get 100 piece in here. They're really, really tiny planar flowers. Um, the number for that is 594237. Okay, cool. So I'm going to add a few of these. And these are really tiny, so they um, they don't add too much bulk. And then I have uh, some of the butterflies. Um, I like this color; it's kind of a vintagey style. Um, I don't know if it matches now that I've taken this color out. Um, this number is five nine four one eight three. But we're gonna uh, we'll do the black ones. Just put one over there and one down here. And then the flowers just need a little glue. Um, just a teeny bit of glue. I like to add like clusters almost just like I would on a card. Um, okay, all right, so now I'm gonna get my planner out and show you guys what she looks like inside. Now that I've done her, I don't think she matches, but that's fine, she's still beautiful. And, Okay, so this is the in the moment planner, and I have this gorgeous planner tassel here. Um, so, um, yeah, and here she goes right inside. Thank you, guys. So here she is next to my uh, work planner. Um, so I'm going to fill all this stuff in now because I've been waiting um, to show you guys what she looks like. And it's great inspiration for the week. Whenever you open up your planner and decide to, you know, check off your to-do list, you're going to have a beautiful divider next to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to um, add some glitter in between too. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. And you can go really in-depth or not. Not too much. I mean, it's up to you. And here are the other examples. Um, this background I concentrated a little bit more in for the details, but um, just very, uh, very, very fun. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love and compliments. I was very nervous, <laughs> oh, but you guys. Um, you guys made it my made it worth my while. I'm very happy. So, so that that's gonna be it. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna end it and I'm gonna save it as well, and I'll take pictures of every of everything, and list what I used. Oh, everybody's welcome. Thank you guys for coming and watching. Prima has the best planner products, and I'm not paid to say that. <laughs> They really are great. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to get going and fill in my planner, and I hope you guys are able to do the same. All right. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. <laughs>